<laughs> Lois Ishana says years after her husband's death, she has learned to laugh again. For five years we were, or four, four years we were almost always focused on how he died, the circumstances of his death and that person and everything else. Now we can focus on how he lived. Ishana says in 2006 her husband was beaten to death at a party in Standing Buffalo First Nation in Saskatchewan. She is in Edmonton meeting dozens of others who have had similar experiences at the second annual Victims of Homicide Western Canadian Conference. We know that we know that pain that we have experienced and so um, when we're together in a room what happens is that we are able to um, it helps with the healing process. Charges were eventually stayed against the man who allegedly beat Lois Ashana's husband to death. Lois says she still harbors some anger against her husband's alleged killer. A word called forgiveness and I'm not there yet I, and I, I don't know that I'll get there anytime soon but what I have been able to do and to focus on since um, the trial, focus on how my husband lived. The Victims of Homicide Society notes that with the city's homicide rate already at 19, just five months into the year they are hoping to reach out to the city's latest victims to provide them with some support. Reporting for the Edmonton Sun, I'm Allison Sauls.